Have you ever wrecked an aluminum part accidentally while building your kit and you wished there was a way to recreate that part yourself so you don't have to go buy another one? A lot of it has to do with your ability to be able to cut aluminum parts into the shapes you want. Most of us are familiar with the standard aviation shears for cutting aluminum sheet. So we won't review all of the pros and cons about that. What I do want to show, not everyone knows about the big Malco scissors, which actually does a better job in many cases than the standard aviation shears because the blades do not leave those little teeth marks. It, this is, creates a clean cut and it works great on materials up to about 30 thousandths. Now let's take a look at cutting. This is 25 thou. This is pretty standard aircraft skin. Cutting this is almost like cutting paper. Kind of depends on how good your eyes are and how big of a hurry you're in, but it is effort, it effortless and cuts straight and it doesn't leave those teeth marks. Now the thicker the metal goes, the more energy it's going to take. And when it comes to curves, of course, just like a regular pair of scissors, you got to kind of control it. But when you're making sweeping cuts, you can't beat these. In this example, I want to duplicate this metal gusset part. It's made out of, it is made out of 32 thousandths aluminum sheet. And the reason I need to duplicate it is the pre-drilled holes are wrong for my application. My holes are in a different location. So I got a piece of aluminum stock and traced it. I have the correct thickness, 32 thousandths, traced it. Now my challenge is to be able to cut this out with all of the smooth curves and corners and I want the piece to end up looking as nice as the original. Now when we first go to grab our shears we will find that if you haven't tried this yourself when you go for the corners and the curves as you take small bites out of the aluminum you leave jagged edges sometimes splinters that cannot be easily sanded out. And it's just a real chore, especially the thicker the aluminum gets, to be able to make smooth curves. Some of these can be accomplished by drilling a hole of appropriate size. That would take care of this guy and this guy here. We'd have to set up our hole saw properly to do that, but it wouldn't help for some of the other corners. So I want to show you another method I use to be able to cut out complex parts out of sheet aluminum. So what tool do we have here? This is basically just a woodworking type of band saw. Variable speed, but the important thing is I am using a blade made for non-ferrous metals, so I would never try and cut steel with this, but the blade is very narrow. And just like in woodworking, that very narrow blade allows you to scroll through tight turns very nicely. So my rule of thumb would be that I wouldn't use this on metals thinner than about 32 thousandths. Your shears, hand shears will work just fine. 
But 32,000s and up, like your 40,000s and your 60,000s, this works very nice, just like a piece of quarter-inch plywood would be able to navigate through a thin blade like this and make some nice cuts. So within literally just a few minutes, I was able to duplicate this part, and it really does look as good as the original. So for you kit builders that manage to ruin parts like we all do because you bend it wrong, drill it wrong, and you just need another, the ability to duplicate these parts is not out of your reach. And for you scratch builders, hopefully this tip will allow you to make some of these parts a little bit quicker with just some common tools.